There is something magical in that feeling when the anime grabs you. Not even sure how to describe it, really. It's like that feeling when you see a starving cat at a pair of kittens and buy them food. Or when the kill animation in a video game gives a satisfying crunch. Or when the woman you're dating has a kid so that you know how much saw blades you have to take. But I digress. It's also peculiar that the animes I genuinely enjoyed this year apparently also have a contest on the longest and most obnoxious title ever created. It was villainous the last season, and now this. Just look at this shit. Gaze upon its girth! You know what? To make this more comedic, I'll call it Rucola Pizza. So, Rucola Pizza is a 13 episode power fantasy anime created by Studio Silverling that belongs to the type of animes whose plot is basically its title. There once was a demon lord Anus. He was big, he was strong, he was manly. He got stabbed by a sword, and the wound from that all got all demons and humans divided. Then, 2000 years later, he rest. Got all big in a month and got snazz, so he went to a boat that, as a practical joke, he decided to enroll in a school. God, I hate poetry. Anyway, Big Demon Lord got resurrected 2000 years later and is now basically wiping the floor with everything. Imagine Overlord if Ainz was the one and only character doing anything of note. And by gods, I loved every minute of it. The characters' personalities are interesting enough for me to actually sit down and cheer them on on their journey. Anus is a protagonist that I can perfectly see why people would like. He's confident, he's smug, he's... Well, the Demon Sisters story arc was an interesting one, and the solution was a bit underwhelming. Okay, the bad guys of the show had an average-looking design, their motivations were one note, and they just folded door with barely any resistance. Admittedly, maybe my impressions of it are slightly colored by the previous two, three weeks of me watching things I hated, so this anime was basically my detox, but still, it does an admirable job for what it tries to be, and that is a silly, stupid power fantasy anime. It exists solely for you to sit down comfortably, preferably after a hot bath, and watch it until you get tired of it, for me it's roughly five to six episodes a day, and then be happy about life for a brief moment before you remember where you are. The characters are inoffensive and take enough screen time to not be entirely overshadowed by Anus. The ending twist was kinda obvious, but they've played it in a tacit way. The overall story of Demon Lord is good and every bad guy is basically an elitist and or racist is mentioned only when needed, so it doesn't attract too much attention. The graphics are average for this sort of show, an occasional lip-syncing issue aside. The music is barely there, with only notable thing about it being the opening song that was sung by a guy and I think two episodes episodes? Still, don't quote me on that. The opening itself was so boring that male vocals was the only reason I've even bothered to remember them. Now that I think about it, I've really oversold this anime, did I? Essentially, there's nothing really to say about it, nor a good way to conclude it, as it is what it is. In a way, I can respect that more than something like listeners. It's like the difference between an eatery where they serve you a nice bowl of old-fashioned mashed potatoes and cheese, and an elite restaurant where they sell you the exact same mashed potatoes and cheese, only it's overpriced, the portion is smaller, and for some reason the name is in Italian. It's not much, but you're guaranteed to get what you ordered at least. Meanwhile, in the other one, the waiter doesn't even look like Mario, which I'm more than certain breaks some sort of law. Mm -hmm. 